ஆனரபிள் கவர்னர் ஆஃப் மகாராஷ்டிரா ஸ்ரீ பகத் சிங் கோஷியார்ஜி விஷ்னரி பிரசிடென்ட் டாக்டர் விஸ்வநாத் டி கராட் அட்மயரபிள் எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் பிரசிடென்ட் அண்ட் வைஸ் சான்சலர் டாக்டர் மங்கேஷ் கராட் டிஸ்டிங்விஷ்ட் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் போர்ட் ஆஃப் கவர்னர்ஸ் அண்ட் போர்ட் ஆஃப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஏரோடைட் டிரெக்டர் டீன்ஸ் ஹெட்ஸ் அகாடமிக்ஸ் and members of the MIT ADT University, distinguished invitees, dear graduating students and their proud parents, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. With great delight, I stand before this promising audience today on the momentous occasion of the third convocation to greet the graduates of the year to congratulate them for this coveted academic distinction and to wish them all a very bright and prosperous tomorrow i admire the visionary founder and members of maharashtra academy of engineering and educational research for kindling a revolution in the academic landscape of maharashtra and for the phenomenal growth of the exemplary a mighty group of institutions at this sprawling campus i understand that this university is striving with a vision of a world class university while preserving the national focus on human resources development the rapid progress of a mighty edit university is commendable you have carved out a unique niche for a value based holistic education by grooming of well rounded and creative minds on the triad of arts design and technology i have often been asked questions about the harmony of my passion for performing arts and the pursuit for a strong career path in technology and management the answer is a big yes practicing art and imbibing spiritual heritage helped me for value centric personal decisions in life and for mindful leadership in frontiers of space science and technology i was exposed to bhagavad gita during my early adolescence by enacting the role of arjuna in the play gita upadesha here a valiant arjuna was falling into a depressive state of mind only to be rejuvenated by the advice of krishna that is the arjuna disease and the krishna cure as swami chinmayananda coined it the outcome for me was i started appreciating bhagavad gita still i am a student of it fathoming its depth interpretations and applicability in life only to realize that the dhanurdhari in one has to be tempered and reinforced by invoking the yogeshwara to achieve prosperity success expansion and sound policy during my musical journey too i realized that when we begin most performing arts are means of entertainment and self expression slowly they evolve as a means of self realization and later bring in the realization of the super power aside it helped me to remain as an eternal student to regain my composure in difficult times and to regenerate myself friends nowadays we talk about technology intervention to build future ready society technology has been advancing exponentially the mobile internet e-commerce smartphones and cloud based services have opened the door to more mobility and convenience as well as to greater competition 
Advanced Analytics and the Internet of Things are transforming business operations. Every five years, we keep guessing what the next wave of technologies will be that will change the society. The word transformation has given way to disruption. We observe that the world's largest accommodation provider does not own even a single property or the world's largest taxi company does not own a single car. We see a company providing launch services and mission management without building even a single rocket. A new paradigm of disaster management using satellite data is emerging with free online services providing pre- and post-disaster images that to within hours of the event on the web or cloud platforms using near real-time data captured by small satellite constellations. Today we see many rapidly evolving, potentially transformative technologies spanning information technologies, biological sciences, material science, energy and other fields. We are witnessing a parade of new technologies and relentless scientific breakthroughs and the list of next big things grows even longer. Whether we call it augmented reality, big data, deep learning, content communication or artificial intelligence. It becomes apparent that disruptive technologies are transforming the way the society lives, communicates, travels, shops, sleeps or gets entertained. If you have to judge by the developments in the last five years, the future promises an accelerated pace that we have never seen before. As technology and business forecasters struggle with disruptions, there is always a lingering question if the society with varying geographies and demography is ready to accept these disruptions and embrace technologies without distrust. In other words, is the society future ready? The interventions that are required to prepare the society may need to happen at various levels, government, organizations, and education. Policies are essential for the government to promote and foster a society with the right digital skills to fulfill the potential of any planned technology intervention for more efficient delivery of services with minimum overhead and maximum revenue. At the same time, the government has the enormous challenge of ensuring inclusivity in view of the significant rural population by implementing policy without widening the digital divide. Organizations all over the world have recognized the immense disruptive value of digital. Digitalization is reshaping cities, transforming business models, and integrating physical assets with their digital counterparts. Organizations which are not ready for future disruptions or are in a wait and watch mode risk falling by the wayside. Traditional practices that were relied upon for profit and customer satisfaction no longer seems to be good enough. Organizations that are capable of systematically identifying and understanding signals, trends and other indicators of change and develop plans for how to respond with informed invest are expected to succeed over the wait and watch times. Organizations that are able to develop a central and cohesive strategy which connects people, processes, systems and assets 
are likely to be best positioned to realize the full potential that digital ways of working can bring. At the educational level, technology is already changing everything about how universities deliver teaching, how their academic staff work, and how research is delivered. The pace of change is so fast that our whole way of life is changing within 5 or 10 years. The concept of university developed nearly 1000 years ago will need to change with it. Multidisciplinary teaching and research will be the norm rather than the exception. Society needs to be prepared for lifelong learning enabled by better connectivity, richer content and 24 bar 7 availability. <laughs> Delightfully, India has an amazing educational policy in place and the posterity will be grateful to the thoughtful architects and visionary leadership for gearing up the nation into global prominence in a rapidly changing world. Last but not the least, we should not be oblivious of the humanitarian impacts of adopting the disruptions, especially in India with a predominantly labor-intensive and rural structure. The hype surrounding AI might lead one to assume that it is some kind of magic bullet to solve every complex problem. AI can also exasperate social challenges through malicious use of private data and lack of transparency. Thus, equally exponential growth is required in cyber security and secure platforms. The cardinal question that any technology intervention must focus is not which technology I need to adopt, but how the technology will make a difference to the life of the users. Thus, a people focus is essential to get the technology right. It is well recognized globally that the hallmark of India in space is the focus on its helpfulness for humankind through earth-oriented satellites and an effective institutional tie-up with all stakeholders to evolve and sustain national systems. Exploring outer space continue to excite and enrich us. In this pursuit, self-reliance has been our obsession, not just an objective. That is evident from the Indian strides in satellite technology and launcher technology. The highlight is that India has mastered the complex technologies and achieved self-reliance in access to outer space. All Indian satellites, except a few heavy communication satellites, are lofted by the Indian launchers. Chandrayaan-1 and Mars Orbiter mission tested our ability for precisely navigating into deep space and for the tricky capture of the orbit of the celestial bodies. <clears throat> Some of the technological innovations dictated by our space exploration missions have been beneficially deployed for the operations of Earth-oriented application satellites. India is on the threshold of human spaceflight and complex interplanetary exploration which will open up enormous challenges and host of opportunities to the new generation. What drives the team ISRO for such quantum leaps? It is the belief in ourselves. It is a team excellence. It is the learning from the past missions, both failures and successes. It is a sublime combination of the wisdom of elders and the innovative power of younger generation. It is the preparedness for all imaginable scenarios. It is transformational leadership at all levels. <clears throat> Friends, let me wrap up with a few Gospels of Swami Vivekananda. 
he said. Mind you, this is life's experience. If you really want the good of others, the whole universe may stand against you and still cannot hurt you. It must crumble before the power of the Lord himself in you if you are sincere and really unselfish. Give me a few men and women who are pure and selfless and I shall shake the world. When you are born as a man, leave some indelible mark behind you. They alone live who live for others. My dear young friends, this is your day and importantly, a day of your life to express gratitude to your parents for their sacrifices to support your pursuits and to bow in reverence to the teachers for shaping you. A new world of opportunities and challenges will unfold in front of you. I believe that knowing and doing are important for professional success. But being what you are, your character and conscience will elevate you as emulable ones. Each one of us could live to leave a legacy and make a difference for the society around us, our nation and the humanity at large. Friends, let me wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.